Hey, I'm conflicted and strap in, get your cranberry juice, get your Cheerios or any snacks for that matter because Trippy Red just dropped his latest album, A Love Letter to You 5. And in this video, we are going to be splitting it into two pieces. The first half of this is going to be talking about each individual song and the album itself. And then the second half of this video is going to be talking about the trajectory of Trippy Red's career from the past couple of years to the future. What has been happening with Trippy Red? Did he fall off? I'll let you know. But before we do that, consider subscribing because I upload videos just like this two times a week and you don't want to miss out music related content and it's very locked in. All right, we're very locked in and you don't want to miss it. We're about to hit a billion subscribers. Let's get into the video. All right, so we're going to do a track by track analysis. But Trippy Red in this album has a similar style to Drake's Honestly Nevermind in the fact that it has a bunch of very slow songs. And then at the very end, it has a very surprising song, Trip McKnight. But we'll get into that. Starting off with the first track, we have Take Me Away featuring Corbin. And I cannot stand Corbin's voice, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I was really worried because the past couple of years, Trippy Red has been dozing off i'm not gonna lie to you he's been he's been he's been missing a bunch recently and i was really scared that this was gonna continue when i heard this first song i did not like it that much but then slowly slowly the album kept getting better and better last days was okay and a lot of these songs are very nice on their own i feel like as an album this album is not really crazy but i mean you never really listen to a triple red album to specifically like listen to some masterpiece that is put together like i don't know you're not really coming to trippy red for that i feel like you're getting good trippy red here where he has a lot of very melodic very nice uh vocals over some nice guitars nice instrumentals pretty nice beat selection through a lot of these songs and it had a lot of highlights and lowlights i mean i feel like there's songs like closed doors featuring roddy rich where i didn't really get what I wanted from Roddy Rich, he gets off beat a lot. Roddy Rich has been known for that recently. Well, I guess he's always been known with that, but it's been really frustrating. A lot of the features on here, I feel like, did not do the justice that they could have. I feel like the Kid Leroy definitely has had better features. Bryson Taylor's song, maybe it has to grow on me, but I didn't personally like it that much. Sky Morales did a pretty good job on this album, though, for the most part. They were carrying a lot of these songs. They kept, they kept coming back. Uh, the features were interesting. The features were very interesting, including an incredible feature from Lil Wayne on I'm Mad At Me. And a lot of these songs are pretty good. My highlights on this album are Praying For Love, Trip McKnight, The Hate, Took My Breath Away, Action, and I'm Mad At Me. Overall, I think the album was pretty okay. But I think that most importantly, it's a step in the right direction for Trippy Red. Trippy Red's been on a very interesting group of couples uh, albums recently we had a little while ago right after a love letter you four which a lot of people consider to be his last good album he dropped pegasus and i was starting to think that he was getting a little bit washed out for quite some time because pegasus was low-key horrible trip at night was okay but i feel like it over saturated the rage sound every single one of these songs sounded very similar and it got a little bit upsetting i'm not gonna lie to you i mean a lot of the features had to carry on this rage sound because Trippy himself was not just cutting it because they all sounded very similar. Mansion music was a massive flop in my opinion and he did his best to turn all these songs to singles. He did everything to make that album market but he was on a massive massive decline and I feel like with this album even though it's still not up to par with a lot of his older stuff and definitely the worst in the series in my opinion in my books i still feel like there is some pretty good highlights on here and he's doing a good job on a slow rise back i had a lot more of these songs on this album than i have from any trippy red album in the past couple of years actually so despite it being a tiny bit boring at points i'm still very interested to see where trippy red goes in the future because he has versatility he's been showing that for a while he has songs where he's ribbity rapping uh, like 1400 slash 999 freestyle he has peaceful songs on taking a walk he has emotional songs rage songs trippy red has always been known to break out of the box and he has a very very 
interesting voice and everybody everybody knows that but with that all being said how did you guys feel about this brand new album a love letter to you five let me know in the comments below for a chance to get pinned i love seeing all you guys' comments i have a lot of energy right now i might record another video back to back right now with that all being said i love you all very much i'm conflicted and i'm my, my microphone cut out but peace Thank you.